every time you have the same situation in your life, find some toxic partners. If you think that to solve this problem, you need to register on data application and find new person, no. People with dark energy all already will turn off this video. <laughs> Today we will talk about sex, drugs and perversions. And also we will talk about people who had a lot of experience about this, tired of this experience and want to move to something more serious, to relations, to happiness, to build maybe even family with other guy. Okay guys, we're so happy to introduce you Alex, Alex Hiller. Yeah, because you know, we travel a lot and during our trips we meet a lot of amazing people and we can't hide from you those amazing people. And one of them is Alex, he's a healer. And uh, Alice, please tell us more about yourself. What is like this profession healer? What is this? Okay, a few words. Uh, I was born in Ukraine. Uh, before I was a lawyer and uh, when I was 27 years old, my life started to change a lot. And uh, I come to, comes to do massages. Uh, finish a lot of massage courses. But one day I realized that um, it's quite difficult physically to do a lot of massages and also I met a lot of people who could just touch someone and read energy or heal with energy you know some people can have disease some emotional problems and they through the healing touch could help and it was very inspirational so step by step I moved to energy healing what we can do on distance or we can just meet and do uh, in person Mostly what I do, I call it soul reconnection. And actually, you tried with me a few sessions. So yes, in general, so many, actually, I yeah. hope you enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, it was very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in general, uh, what I call soul reconnection. You know, in psychology, we call uh, that we have ego. Ego is something like fake part of us. It's result of our traumas, what society put in our head, environment. And we have something real who we really are. Like, what are our real wishes? Little, little babies, yeah? Like, uh, like, like inner, inner child, me. but inner uh, child. Uh, not, not only it's child, yeah, we have inner child, but also um, something real inside, because for a lot of people, for 99% of people, they do not know what they really love and enjoy. They just follow some stereotypes. Like, example, our society teaches us from childhood that this, this is good, this is good, but this is bad. Or like example, in your family, uh, your mom or father teach you, it's for you, it's good to eat this food, this and this food, mm -hmm. but this is bad. Mm -hmm. But maybe for your body, something what your parents think is bad, opposite is good for you. Absolutely, yeah. It's like a lot of examples, but soul reconnection, it's about to remove from you something artificial mm -hmm. and show you who you really are who you are inside and what really makes you happy. It's about everything, food, music, films, friends, uh, for sure about your destiny in your life, what kind of work you can do, what you can do good for people. So if we reflect it on a gay society, yeah, they, mm -hmm. like we are all gay men, we are hardly traumatized by our difficult childhood, many, not exceptional of our families maybe, mm -hmm. and then uh, how it reflects on us in our adult life. For example, could, it, could we say that, for example, we think that parties, mm -hmm. uh, s sex life is like part of our happiness, or mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not true, it's fake? You know, we all want to find ourselves, find our happiness. I believe that people never do something bad and people do not do mistakes. We're just looking for happiness. We're looking for inner balance and harmony. Even when we are talking about something like difficult story, like, like parties, substances, and like that, people do it not because they want to hurt someone or destroy themselves. It's very destructive. In the end, it just destroy health, it destroy lives, uh, families. People get into depression, right? Yeah, like it's... it's cases, uh, after parties you feel like calm down. Uh, yeah, you feel moods, like, yeah? like down, Just yeah. you feel exhausted, many people feel tired. I know this uh, feeling because uh, it feels, I had the same feelings, yeah? Yes, yeah. and it's hormones, it's influence on your hormonal system. But in general, I do not know if people are uh, ready to listen it from the start, but when we even one time use some substances, energetically you get um, like a stamp I because I meet a lot of people who uh, have addictions or just maybe tried it one time 
energetically, like when I see their energy uh, on this part, they have like a black stamp. It's like uh, something would push you to destroy yourself after. Maybe some people try it just one time and then they don't do it anymore. But they start to have this stem that bring them to some destruction subconsciously. It's like some uh, power that push you to self-destruction after. And all that gay people who come to me for liberation, uh, how it works? When we are 18, 19 years old, we just start to observe this world. Yeah. Not everyone for sure, but I'm talking about people who was involved, yeah, like parties, uh, this fake pleasure, fun, and everything. Yes. Because we all understand in the end that this is destructive. And honestly, I was involved to this world like a few years. It's this feeling when you say to yourself after this party, no, no, I will never do it again. I don't want, like, I want to start a pure life, you know. No, but after a few weeks, you think, yeah, maybe let's do it again. And some power, like, push you to do it. Mm -hmm. When I say it about this stamp, it means it's like, in your energy was, uh, you got something that pushed you to do it. Is and it like because of drugs or is it because of the, like, everybody does it and I think it's cool to do it? Or maybe because it's inner traumas, like, I remember you told me something, like, yeah. so, uh, traumas inside, deeply inside of our subconsciousness. This time people get after using substances, it's first question. Why people do it? like scientists, they connect topic of addictions with relations with mother, first of all. Yeah. Like example, why are you not involved into these processes? Because we were talking with you yesterday and you said that you have very strong connection with your mother and it's very good connection, you in a good relations. Yeah. People who have some conflicts with a mother or some issues and moments they didn't solve in, a in really, in a family, mostly they have tendency to have addictions. Yes. Because um, it's hundred percent. Because I, I, I personally, I personally had like uh, guys I dated, and every each of them who had problems with the family, especially with the mother line, they didn't have mother, or mm -hmm. she was a, in an yes. escort, or yes. she she died because of drug addiction. They, they literally follow her steps. They literally, instead of doing something else, they repeat again. And I'm asking, like, why you do it? Like, you saw, like, your mother end up very bad, your father end up the same way. Why do you need to do this the same? Yeah, why? All your family done. But as I realized that traumas are set much deep inside of him, of his family, that he tried to escape this reality, yes, go in this virtual creation reality yes. where he feels fun, good, but after that, he feels very uh, down. Yeah, after all these parties, and he feel like exhausted. Uh, he hates himself, and probably it can lead to even uh, suicide. Right? I know that many of your clients. Amazing, are... amazing example. You explained everything in an amazing way. So, what kind of situation we have? If uh, this person didn't have uh, like happy relations in a family from childhood, this person from the childhood didn't get enough love and attention from parents. Yes. Like you said, something was wrong in the family. So our energy and our uh, psychological state was built until five years old. So the most important age from one to five. So uh, everything what we learn or listen or at, uh, uh, if we got attention from parents or no, in the age from birthday to five years, it's a base of our future. So in your situation that you just explained, what we have? This child from childhood didn't get enough love. Then this child sees this picture, how uh, parents behave, what they do. And in the end, when this person become adult, what was written on his memory, on his subconscious? Not enough love and picture that family members just do something destructive. Even if he want to do something different, it's a very big chance that he will do the same because it's a program that was instilled to his brain and conscious and subconscious. And if you want to stay away from this, you have to do like very uh, big work to avoid it. Can you tell me that story that you told me yesterday when you met some guy 
when you was uh, uh, 18 years old? So Can when you? I was uh, 18 years old, I was uh, visited Berlin and like before that I was kind of like an uh, innocent guy from, I live in Prague and nothing was like a certain nice section in my life. So then I started to visit Berlin, of course uh, I saw the parties and uh, as well I had one case which was very bad because we talked about uh, difficult uh, drugs and it's, if I ever tried them. So it was the case that one guy, I met a guy who was uh, inviting me to his place, older guy, and uh, he put inside my, let's say, ass, a uh, very difficult drug, Astina. I didn't know what is this, how it's, uh, like, he just said, oh, I'll put this inside. Uh, I was a naive kid, uh, I didn't understand much, so it's happened. Yeah, and Alex told me through this, uh, you had also similar, right? You said some, not like part, not but like it was. Yeah, I tried a heavy drug uh, when I was 19. Mm -hmm. Not not trusting those people because they seems to be like very successful, grateful, successful. Rich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because I also had the same story, and you know, uh, it's always the same. You just young guy, you naive, you looking for something good, yeah, you just registered in date application, yeah, <laughs> and then you just meet someone who offer you something or push you to do it, or like in your case, even without your permission, this person just tried to... I mean, he told you know, me about like, it, I but didn't understand what is this. He didn't right? explain what is that. Why I um, ask you about this? Because I had the hope that people who will watch this video and they never tried it, if this situation will be in your life, you will be very careful. Because I have to say that even if you try it one time, your energy structure, your uh, psychological state changing immediately. And to back to, let's say, like normal uh, organization of your mind, of your psychology and your energy, you have to do a lot of healing work after. Yeah. It's like something you know, mm, no, it's not the right example, but if someone just lost hat, a hand, it's not possible to recover. It's like no way back. With the substances, you can back to totally 100% normal life and normal, normal state of your mind. Because uh, like I said to you in the morning today, if you tried it and you got this fake pleasure, because actually it's very fake pleasure, and in your brain it was instilled stereotype that it's fun and pleasant because it's fake. Why you say that after using it you feel so depressed and so bad? Because it's like artificial way to in increase hormones of pleasure in your blood. But after some few hours or even some people do it few days, you like empty. You use, you overuse, you know this, yeah, like you overuse your hormones. Like example, your body can produce this amount of hormones for next two, three weeks, but because of these substances... Guys, on the top of topic about uh, parties and drug addiction, I like, I can tell you how literally uh, personally I met Alex. So we, uh, tr two years ago, we traveled around Asia, and the first place where we came is was uh, Bangkok, Thailand, and uh, yeah, we saw like uh, Alex Twitter. We meet on the party. My massage Joke. Twitter, and we wanted to make a collab. It's like we met, and then we found out that we like kind of a good match. You know, we have a lot of interests together, and uh, before that, we didn't, we have never thought about any uh, spiritual or energetic things. Like a very materialistic approach to this world we had. So uh, after that, like Alex suggested us to go together to Cambodia. He had this interesting girl there, guide, uh, who's e e exactly specified on energies, right? Yeah. And I said like, wow, that's interesting. Like I said, okay, now I don't trust in all this. Yeah, it's a bullshit. It's a, like let's make it as a like uh, adventure, adventure, strange, strange adventure. And we came there, and then like Alex uh, with uh, Lessa started to talk a lot about uh, these energies, uh, chakras, mm -hmm. what is it, that our body is a temple where we live a spirit and energy, and we have to take care of this, not uh, suppress it with uh, uh, different uh, fluids, yeah, or like let's say drugs, how, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to work on this. 
and uh, we visited many temples where we felt literally energy and I started to believe in all this but step by step to be honest mm -hmm. so we had as well very interesting consultations and I had a lot of requests so I was like a bit uh, maybe unhappy about my lifestyle mm -hmm. um, I was well a bit unhappy with my relationship with these guys because I felt they are very uh, superficial, they are in a deep connection and they are a bit like uh, yeah, sexual, sexual instead of being more uh, romantic. Uh, the, the reason was, what Alex explained to me later, that it's not uh, that everybody around me is sexual, yeah? I mean they are because I attract people like this because my program is built up this way that I attract these people and don't attract a uh, different type of people, mm -hmm. like for romantic something. And we started his healing process because he's a very strong, powerful healing. It can sound a bit like, uh, you know, not real, but it is. So uh, he gets in deep inside of, uh, inside of my subconsciousness and started to help me to realize that um, yeah, that I can be loved by people. Yeah. That's, that's just our programs, our mm -hmm. traumas from the childhood, which tells us to do certain yes. uh, things Push all us. the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, uh, we try to be accepted by society. Yeah, we want mm -hmm. to go parties. We we want to show. Oh, look, I'm like I'm cool. worth it. Yeah. I'm worth this world. I'm the best. I'm like the most handsome. You should mm. love me because I didn't get enough this accept acceptation. Yeah, yeah of in course. In our gay society, even we have a big competence. Yeah, so we try to be better, stronger, uh, fitter, smarter, and like the best. So uh, yeah, this way you go to these parties, you taking drugs because everybody do, and you fucking. But of course, it's a different way to exist. Uh, of course, you don't change your life in one day. No, it doesn't work like this. You change it step by step. Of course, you will continue to party, maybe less and less each time, and uh, take less and less um, drugs. But uh, this is uh, how you change your life. Yeah, Alex. Could how you... do you think? How many percent of uh, gay people uh, involved to parties and substances at oh, the moment? Actually, I don't think parties that much, but con um, substances definitely a lot. A lot. Depends mm -hmm. on the country, of course, mm -hmm. but I would tell you that in Western Europe it's a lot, or Central, yeah. But as well, like as well, it's maybe in your bubble. We don't know all the bubble, right? Gay society mm -hmm. is very big, right? Yeah. So we don't know everybody. It's like, you know, I try to generalize, like, explanation how it works. Uh, how I, because each case is very different. Yeah, for me, easier to take one person, read your energy and explain your particular causes why you have something in your life, some way of destruction, yeah? But if to generalize, you know, okay, let's be honest. Uh, in the most of countries, now its situation become better. But if you are gay and you was born gay, you cannot be open 100% from the childhood. Okay. Let's be honest, yeah. yeah? And even in a more open-minded societies, a lot of parents, they still conservative. Right. And uh, like from the childhood, they understand that their child is different. You know, I had a session with one uh, hyp hypnologist and I went back to my childhood. Mm -hmm. And depends on level of healer, we can... Um, okay, I went deep to my childhood and I have seen that my father, he understood that I'm gay from my birthday. Wow. Because from childhood, I never ask about, you know, like a, gay, uh, like a cars or something for boys. I always ask about dolls. Yeah, me the same. <laughs> yeah, and I love to create clothes for them. At that moment, for me, it was normal. But when I had a session with hypnologist and we together went to my childhood, I realized that at that moment, my father already sees that probably I'm gay because straight guys, they don't buy dolls and they do not create clothes. Yeah, absolutely. And it was quite stressful for him. And I think it's it's very common situation. So picture of uh, gay psychology, my opinion, is like from the childhood, we are different. We are not like average people around. Our parents feel it and not always accept it. And also usually gay people, not, not always and not, not like maybe 50% of more, born in some specific family and usually usually it's quite strong mother 
like energetically more dominant and more uh, and weaker father more submissive father yeah. or father not exist or father not involving to process of uh, growing up uh, it's it's not uh, and a father usually do not take active participation in growing up this child like example you can say but our family is very good yes that's yes. why you are successful you don't spend much time for parties or something like that and you know your goals in your life because um, way how we live this life very connected with how our parents treat us when we were children yes. and usually our connection with mother shows how we successful in relations with the people like something more emotional can we build relations or no our relations with the father it's like a mirror of how we uh, successful in society how we can create money and how we can be developed uh, professionally the problem of a lot of gays i think they do not know what they want in their life they don't have like a purpose they have a lot of free time because connection with the father usually is very weak mm -hmm. and psychologically if we have good relations with the father our father gives us energy of uh, professional development yeah. we can plan our life and it's like masculine energy and we know what we want let's be honest a lot of gays have very weak masculine energy you agree or no yeah could be could be actually you agree or no More like uh, personally probably uh, it did, I don't know. But it's not Explain. about Maybe, you. Yeah, it's not about you. It's not about Explain. you because you have good connection with the father. But I can say my opinion. If you want to find your purpose in your life, it's a very good idea to harmonize relations with your father. Absolutely. Better with the mother also. But, but in the case if you don't have? If you have and you have opportunity to talk to them physically. If you don't have, you can just harmonize your feminine and masculine sides and balance your energy it's like a lot of methods psychology hypnotherapy energy healing a lot of methods like for people who want to discover it it's possible to find ways so if i correctly understand if i have <laughs> amazing relationship with my father and mother and they accept me as i am gay yes yeah then it more chance that i will develop a happy 100 percent that I will build my life as I wish inside and uh, I'll be successful man. Because you will feel support from yeah. behind. Actually, you know what is like crazy is that I have amazing relationship with my yes. parents. They know about my boyfriend, they ask me how my boyfriend is doing. Yes. The yeah, whole family. Uh, family. Yeah, all my family is like... And the yeah, and uh, as well like I remember you told us, so if you have like these problems, issues, not acceptance, as well it's not acceptance inside of you happening and then you, I remember, told me about low astral, yeah, low mm -hmm. astral, this is in energy. Can you mm -hmm. tell us about low astral? It's very interesting, something mysterious. Okay, have you seen film Astral? No. no. Okay, any kind of horror movies when someone appears from the darkness, like... Oh. Okay, let's imagine. It's truth, and we call it low astral. What does mean astral? Astral, it's an energy projection of world around. Like example, you have your aura. Mm -hmm and you also and me also people who can uh, have skill to see it they can see your color of your energy or your like no I, I work through astral but astral can be like high level of energies like example what we call angels like higher uh, teachers like some highest energies and it can be low low astral is like entities demons and something actually uh, people who use substances even one time or drink alcohol they like literally open door to low astral it's because we have traumas and this uh, through these traumas they literally connect to us right am i right or it's something uh, okay know. let's talk in this way if you have emotional trauma that not solved yet it's like a dark hole in your aura mm -hmm. when he was a child it's just a small but what traumas do with us like example people who have trauma of rejection because parents didn't pay them yeah. enough attention and reject reject it's a program in the head of this person, rejection. It's like something that was instilled and this person look on the world around through this program. Subconsciously, this person attract, when become adult, people who will always reject this person. This person want to find some job 
and subconsciously this person apply, it sounds crazy, but subconsciously this person will apply to get a job only to places who will reject this person because it's a program. And I heard that like our fears subconsciously make it real. So if you're afraid of yes. that, it will be it's, happening it's all similar. the time. Or like example person with a program of rejection, mm -hmm. open date application and this person will write only to that people who from the start reject this person. I swear it's worse, it's worse 100%, oh work 100% you know, like that. just what you told me, I always choose the guys, only choose the guys, subconsciously I know that they will accept me and they will want me and they will yes. only love me. Because it's a program and, of love inside you. And my friends, uh, I have some friends who only mm -hmm. choose the guys who will uh, not really want to be with them, there will be unhappy relationships. I will tell you even more. If you find to your friend normal guy who will love him, this guy will not be interested for no, your friend. No, he will not be. Yeah. No, he will be. He will say bye. You're not interested. He need drama. But my in his friend life. also will not be interested in him. I Understand. <laughs> because he will look for the guy with problems. Yes, because it's a program. That's why through energy healing and psychology, we can literally l remove this destructive program, and you start to look on this world through healthy eyes, you know, you become yeah, healthy. One psychologist, actually th this information I heard not from the healer Alex, but I've heard this already before uh, from one psychologist one year ago. He said, but you, uh, he told my friend that who is all the time in abusive relationships, he said to him, oh, but you are just looking for the same partner because it's in your subconsciousness. He said, what the fuck, you're like, yes. no, uh, I'm just unlucky. He said, no, you need to change your program. 100%. Actually, we like a robots with the programs. And everything that you have in your life, it's a result of a mix of programs in your head. So, like example, if every time you have the same situation in your life, mostly we talk about relations. Like example, you find some toxic partners or similar partners that make you unhappy. You found someone unsuccessful, found someone unsuccessful. If you think that to solve this problem, you need to register on data application and find two person. No, it will not solve your problems. You will find the same. same. First of all, what you need to do, change programs in your head and remove this trauma and heal your heart, first of all. Mm. It's all very interesting. I love uh, you before talking about chakras and uh, that we have different chakras. For example, my chakra is like this down under the like in this part, right? Mm -hmm. And this part you explained me is it's more like uh, responsible for financial success and, mm -hmm. and sexuality. Mm -hmm. But in only, I read as well on the internet, only in the case if we control our sexuality. Yes. Because you said as well that if we have too many sexual partners and these uh, connections, which mm -hmm. as well can give this low astral, as you yes. told me, we close our heart for chakra sure. of love. For sure. Yeah? So uh, th this means that we have to really take care of with whom we connect in sexually because sure. this is the deepest connection. Yes. Uh, if you could tell me. Maybe Actually, your main chakra is stomach chakra, yellow. You are very social and you are oriented to uh, build uh, like professionally successful and uh, you are very social. Uh, your main chakra sexual powerful but mostly just stomach yellow Is color. It, me yes, and you like it. Yes, you like a but sun. Why you, I, when I no, you also have very developed uh, like um, uh, yellow but you also have uh, powerful uh, throat chakra to talk and uh, you also but I, I don't I see now that um, uh, very powerful you can influence on other people. I have a feeling that you can uh, convince and manage other people uh, very good. I do not know. Maybe I can convince. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah and uh, about energy centers, I just want to say, because you know, it's a very long conversation. I just want to say that sexual connection between two people, it's very powerful action. Right. When we open our energy centers, we become more vulnerable. And in this case when we open our energy we become very connected with the person with whom we have sex so i just want to say please be careful and look whom you meet on date applications and with whom you create connection because if this person have let's say like heavy karma or some um, 
traumas or some negative energy, it's very easy to get it through sexual connection. And you have this sex, oh, okay, it's fun. But next morning you wake up and you feel like so bad. Someone sucked your energy, right? Yes, because oh literally God. this That's person suck your energy. Actually, not person, entities who stand behind. Because if person have a lot of traumas and problems, this person connected with a lot of low astral entities. And when you have sex with this person, you just get the same low astral entities. And next morning you wake up, like you become, your energy become dirty. That's why always look with whom you have sex. Why it's bad that your energy becomes dirty? I will explain you. As smart, as much your energy pure, you like more visible for uh, universe, you lighter, you know this feeling when you're always happy, when you light, when you shine, yeah, your sunshine. As much, it's like uh, energy dirtiness, it's like a packages with a trash, on your aura and as more you have it as more you feel like you don't have inspiration you don't have like uh, life energy you, you you know people with pure energy as much pure your energy first of all you always feel energized you feel like oh, i have inspiration i i know what i want to do yeah but if uh, with a way that we can get a bad uh, energy from from the sex, can we get some good energy? For positive, sure, like for sure. But stronger? I I believe that it's possible. Uh, for sure, it's not possible with random sex connections. It can be only with one person, with whom you have. It's very important. Equal level of energy. Like example, can I talk about your boyfriend? Yes. He's amazing. I'm, if you will watch this video, I'm your fan. So he has very powerful energy, the same like you. You have equal energy level. If, like example, you so successful, you have so good energy, you meet just random guy, energy level like this. When you have sex, for sure this guy will feel much better. Yeah. But you will lose. It's like he is here and you here. When you have sex, it becomes something like equal because you en you do energy exchange. Yes. You feed him with your energy. This guy next morning he will feel extremely inspired and very good. But you will feel drained. That's why your sex partner has to be the same level of like development and, and energy. You cannot with your energy. I definitely suggest you do not have random sex connection with just random guys. You have to be very selective if you take care of your energy. Because as much brighter you are, as more you delicious for let's say like negative energies, and they do everything to attract to you. So, and eat for you. example, many different guys watching us, yeah? yeah? Maybe some of them have really bright energy, some of them have dark energy. How to understand? Or are, are we really dark? Or is it like everybody has a bright li light inside and we... Okay, I will tell you what I see around. People with dark energy all already will turn off this video. <laughs> really? They will not watch it, yes. Because it's their choice and this is their life path to serve low astral world. In a gay world, a lot of people consciously serve these guys who invite young guys and offer substances, like we said before. The they, they, they serve demonic worlds. They serve low astral. And most of times they do it consciously. It's their choice to spread destruction, spread destruction around. My clients who usually talk to me from gay world, it's a people who very bright inside like you, you, you was born under, like I say, gods of, uh, like light gods. But sometimes they just went to wrong direction and they do not know how to back to normal life, who we are. And usually these people come to me. But I believe that people who was born with really good energy, early or later, they will find way back. But unfortunately, some people lost themselves on this way. It's like very good guys with very bright energy. But this world of substances, parties, like just eat it. And it, it can be uh, difficult situations. Even some people can commit suicide. In the end. And they should realize that the main problem comes from the family. Yeah, 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 from childhood. Because people are not happy inside. And they try, you know, in a gay world, a lot of support. You know, we, it's like community. We people feel lonely. Other. People feel lonely. And sometimes they just find um, this um, moment of happiness with the friends. But not all friends wish you really something good. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Not all of them really from the heart wish you something good. And some of them can convince you to do something that is destructive for you. 
But from the start, your will was very pure. You, you just want to be with the friends. You want to be like uh, in a community because it's difficult for gay people to build family, you know? So sometimes you just find answers Things with like the friends. Things like crazy problem socializing through drugs. I know that in London many yeah, people like this. do socialize why, only through drugs. Could I ask you, why then straight people, they go, for example, are they happy with building families, let's say like this, and the gay men reject this idea and say, not Family. like everybody, let's say, not yeah. generalize, because many straight people reject I just this know idea. Some, some guys said, no, uh, I'm not going to, like, uh, no, I don't want to have kids, I don't want to have, like, serious uh, family. Mm -hmm. and, and then I'm asking them, what is your purpose in life? How do you see happiness in life? What, what, why do you mm -hmm. live in this world? And they tell me, yeah, just to be happy. I say, yeah, but you, are you happy? Mm, I think I'm okay. But then, do you think, like, as a gay people, should we reject idea of family and just live of the idea of parties, mm -hmm. uh, tra uh, traveling, I don't know, uh, taking some con consciousness uh, drugs mm -hmm. to be happy, or is it different for both of us? Uh, you know, my opinion is that we all was born to be happy also in a family relations, and subconsciously, we all looking for something stable and family. It's like when you're back home, you have someone who can hug you to cook yeah. dinner for you, like you can spend time. Just like you said before, that gays, unfortunately, it's, in the most of cases, very traumatized people from childhood. And because of these traumas, it's just for us difficult to build stable relations. You know, yeah. it's just physically difficult. And loneliness follow us. Yes, and that's why only that people who are strong enough to go through these traumas, they can build relations and be happy. Just, I mean, parties, this gay lifestyle, it's just something that can be easier. easier. You know, it's easier. Absolutely easier, yeah. Easier, but unfortunately, in the end, it's destructive. So, yes, thank you, thank you so much, yeah. Nosha. It was thank Alex, it was amazing. Thank you talk. so much. Thank you for like, your trust. I enjoyed so much. And of course, we're talking you. with you all the time about this personally, and you mm -hmm. go much deeper inside mm -hmm. my so After each time we speak with Alex, we underline a lot of important things how to also improve our relationships with our friends, with, uh, with our gay, gay community, which we love a lot, of course. And you know, with age, you also grow to different levels. And hopefully uh, we we'll meet you. you again soon. Definitely, yeah. I know it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank, much. You. Thank you. Thank you.